A woman got kicked off of a plane for singing Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. This was an American Airlines flight from Los Angeles to New York's JFK Airport. They were forced to stop about halfway in Kansas City after a woman refused to stop singing Whitney Houston's famous song, I Will Always Love You. And there's video taken by another passenger, which shows police escorting the woman off the plane. Of course, flight attendants asking that the videotaping not happen, but it did. Let's take a little bit of a listen to this. All right. So total chaos on an American Airlines flight there. Why she chose that question, I don't know. She was allegedly screaming and singing for an hour, according to KMBC. And she um, there was actually a federal air, air marshal on the plane who cuffed the woman and then helped in her removal from the plane. Now, here's where it gets a little more interesting. Reportedly, the woman said she's a diabetic and some are suggesting her behavior was a result of her condition, presumably low blood sugar. And after the interview that took place when she was removed from the plane, she was released without charges. But American Airlines did not want to fly her to her final destination. I asked a couple of diabetics and they said it is true that low blood sugar can make you say and do really odd things. But they said it usually makes them sing Led Zeppelin, not Whitney, Whitney Houston, which is where they were really confused why that song is what came out. Well, this woman's voice sounded like crap. I think no matter what she would uh, choose to sing, it would have been abrasive and obnoxious. There you go. Hey, yeah. since when can you not take pictures on a plane? What's yeah, the people were that? talking about that. You can't, you're allowed to take uh, video from the plane, presumably. But I think the issue is that airline policy, it is a private plane, and airline policy can be that you not take pictures of the inside of a plane. There was a story where a guy got in trouble for taking a picture of his business class seat, and flight attendants said, whoa, 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 you can't do that. I know a lot of people are reacting to that from right. the video, but apparently that's not, I and mean, people do it all the time, and it's not really enforced. But I think when, they're, when pictures are being taken of fellow passengers, clearly that's the goal of the pictures. That's where the airlines have a problem with it. And then there, but there are some of those videos of um, the flight attendants uh, doing interesting things or funny things when right. it comes to the announcements they have to make. Yeah. That sometimes people film. I don't know. I guess it's all circumstantial. It seems circumstantial. Let's take a break. Next, we're going to talk to economist Richard Wolf. Get ready for this. He is going to debunk every nonsense myth around the deficit. Uh, and hopefully he can do it in 10 minutes because that's the time we have for him to do it. But I, I predict it will be plenty of time. Stay with us. Excellent, excellent interview coming up next. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.